now I am going to teach you the Calais Hamilton theorem. Calais Hamilton theorem. What is Calais-Hamilton theorem? Every square matrix should satisfy its own characteristic equation. The word satisfies is very very important. Even for two marks they will ask you the statement of Calais-Hamilton theorem. So what is it? Every square matrix Every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation now i'll show you some example find the or verify They will give you some matrix and ask you to ver verify whether the given matrix is Calais Hamilton theorem or not. And also they will ask you to find the inverse of the given matrix in the Calais Hamilton theorem. They will first ask you to prove whether the given matrix is Calais Hamilton or not and then hence find the inverse of the given matrix. So how will you find it? What is the working rule to find the Calais Hamilton theorem? First you need to find the characteristic equation. After finding out the characteristic equation, you will replace lambda by A. Wherever there is lambda, you will replace it by A. Here no need to find out for any eigenvalues or any eigenvectors. The only thing you need to know is matrix multiplication. You have to be thorough with the matrix multiplication. When two matrices are given of the same order, then you have to go by rows into columns, rows into columns. This is how you need to find the matrix multiplication. So here no need to find out any eigenvalues or eigenvectors. After finding out the characteristic equation, straight away you can substitute, replace lambda by A and substitute the given matrix and A square, A cube matrices. Now, find the or verify Calais Hamilton theorem verify Calais Hamilton theorem and hence find the inverse and hence find the inverse of the matrix A is equals to 1, 2, minus 1, 3, minus 3, 1, 2, 1, minus 2. So this is how they will give you the question verify Calais Hamilton theorem and hence the fine inverse of the matrix. Now to verify the Calais Hamilton theorem what is the condition you need to get 0 matrix that means the characteristic equation should satisfy its own characteristic equation that is every square matrix. So first to find the verify the Calais Hamilton theorem is for 8 marks and to find the inverse of the matrix is for 8 marks. So totally 16 mark question is this. So first thing you will take let A be the given matrix. Then find out characteristic equation to find the characteristic equation. What is the formula? Lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to 0. As I told you in the previous topic, S1 is the sum of the diagonal elements, S2 is the sum of the minors of the diagonal elements and S3 is the determinant of A. Now first find out what is S1. S1 is equals to 1 minus 3 minus 2 1 minus 3 minus 2 which will give you 
minus 4. Similarly, S2 will be the sum of the minors of the diagonal elements. That is, when you take this is the diagonal element. When you take the first element, what is the minors here? Minus 3, 1, 1, minus 2. Plus, for the next diagonal element, this is the next diagonal element. So, what is left out? 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. Plus for the last one, for this one, 1, 2, 3 minus 3. So, when you simplify all these, you will get the value as minus 4. Now, we need to find the determinant of A, that is S3. How will you find out S3? As I told you earlier, 1 into 6 minus 1, minus 2, alternative signs, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus 2 into, again, minus 6, minus 2, and then minus 1 into 3 plus 6, which will give you 5 minus into minus will become plus 16 minus 9 which is equals to 12. Therefore, we have got S1, S2, S3. Now, write down the characteristic equation. Therefore, the characteristic equation is lambda q minus S1. Already minus sign is there. So, minus into minus will become plus 4 lambda square and then plus S2. So, minus 4 lambda and minus 12 equal to 0 is the characteristic equation. Is the characteristic equation. Now, once you have done with the characteristic equation, you have to check it once or twice because if even the single value or even the signs plus or minus sign changes, the final answer you will not get it as zero matrix. Okay, to get the zero matrix proper answer, you need to check the characteristic equation which is very very important for this topic. Now, after finding out the characteristic equation, you have no need to find out any eigenvalues or eigenvectors. Straight away, I am going to replace lambda by a. So, what do you get? a cube plus 4a square minus 4a minus 12 into this will become i unit matrix which is equals to 0. So, here no need to find out anything, any formula or no applications, nothing just the matrix multiplication a cube, a square and a is the given matrix, i is the unit matrix. First we need to find out a square matrix. What is a square? a into a. That is the given matrix a into a. 1, 2, minus 1, 3, minus 3, 1 and then 2, 1, minus 2 into the same thing 1 2 minus 1 3 minus 3 1 and then 2 1 minus 2 these are the matrices a into a now i am going to multiply these two rows into columns how will you multiply first 1 into 1 plus 2 into 3 6 1 plus 6 will give you 7 plus minus 1 into 2. I will show you 1 plus 2 into 3, 6 minus 1 into 2, minus 2. That is for the first element. Next one, again the same row into next column. That is 2, 1 into 2 and then 2 into minus 3 which will give you minus 6. Again, 2 into 1 which will give you plus 2. This is for the second element. Similarly, the same row into third column. 
which will give you minus 1 plus 2 plus 4. This is how you need to find the all the elements that is for the second one similarly how will you do it you will get it as 3 into 1 and then minus 9 plus 2 next one the same second row into the second column 6 plus 9 plus 1 and then the same row into the third column this is how you need to find the matrix a square I will just straight away write down the matrix here so that you have one I hope you have understood this one just the rows into columns this is how you need to find the matrix a square that is 5 minus 5 3 minus 4 16 minus 8 and 1 minus 1 3 so after finding out a square matrix check it once again because if the any of the value in the square matrix a square matrix is wrong then you will not get the a cube matrix and finally you will not get the a cube final answer zero matrix now how will you find out the a cube a cube is equals to you have already got the matrix A square. So, A square into A will give you the A cube matrix. So, what is the A square matrix? 5, minus 5, 3, minus 4, 16, minus 8 and then 1, minus 1, 3 into the given matrix 1 2 minus 1 3 minus 3 1 2 1 minus 2 now same way the matrix multiplication rows into column for the first element again the same row into second column same row into third column will give you the first row elements so you know how to do it the a cube matrix so directly I will write down minus 4 28 minus 16 and then 28 minus 64 36 and then 4 8 minus 8 this is what the a cube matrix now what is the next step take this equation as some 1 or something take it as some equation 1 substituting substitute the value of a cube a square a and i in the characteristic equation in equation 1 so what do you get when you substitute this a cube matrix minus 4 28 minus 16 28 minus 64 36 4 8 minus 8 we have substituted a cube matrix plus 4 into what is the a square matrix 5 minus 5 3 minus 4 16 minus 8 1 minus 1 3 a square matrix next one matrix a 4 into 1 2 minus 1 3 minus 3 1 2 1 minus 2 and finally minus 12 into i what is i the identity matrix that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so when you simplify all these how will you simplify minus 4 plus 4 into 5 20 minus 4 into 1 4 minus 12 you will get it as 0 similarly you will get 0 0 0 you will get the matrix as 0 therefore we say that 
the Calais Hamilton theorem is verified. So what is our aim? We need to find the zero matrix. Once you find out the characteristic equation, you will replace lambda by a throughout the equation. After replacing, then you will find out a cube matrix, a square, a matrix. Finally, after finding out by using the matrix multiplication, you will substitute in the characteristic equation. Final answer, you have to get it as zero matrix. This is how you will verify Calais-Hamilton theorem.